What is up guys and welcome back to another episode. If this is your first time viewing one of my episodes, I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Jonathan, my friends call me Salty. And on this channel we like to do a lot of fishing and I love eating fish, so I love to share recipes that I do. In this episode I'm doing something special guys. I'm, I'm actually frying, air. I'm actually air frying the fish. It's a very new, unique way of cooking fish. It's not something that, uh, I've seen much on YouTube, so I figured I'd make an episode about it. Definitely have never seen fish cooked in what I'm gonna cook this in. It's gonna be super exciting. I can't wait to share that with you. But before we dive into that part of the episode, guys, I'm gonna roll in those clips of me heading out solo out of Anna Marie Island. And guys, let's just say there's a lot of drag screaming action. Listen, I got dinner. I got in the cooler right here. I'm about to, I'm about to start cleaning this. As you guys are watching me slay some fish, baby. It was a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, but stay tuned in till the end because you're going to see something that I don't think anybody's done on YouTube yet. So I'm pretty excited to share that with you today. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the thumbs up button on this episode. This is going to be an exciting episode. We had a little bit of drag screaming action. Fish on, baby. Double header. Double header. Oh my gosh, guys. What am I gonna do? Got this rod screaming. Oh my gosh. Guys, what am I gonna do? Get this fish in. Oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a way to start. I've only been out here for like 10 minutes, guys. Healing drag. Oh my gosh. What is this, guys? Definitely shaking his tail like a bony. See color. All right. Nice, Bonita. guy's got a line hanging off of him a little hook in his gut I'm gonna take that out for him before I release him Whew. hook in the gut nice release on that guy Nice release on that guy. Perfect. Swam her away. Oh yeah. Oh. 
felt like a good fish. Put one down on the bottom with the hog ball. And I just got thumped. Let's put one down there again. Drop it all the way down to the bottom. About 30 feet of water here. Get him popped right now. Pop, pop. Oh. There he is. There's one. Nice little bite off the bottom. Nice mangrove snapper. Nothing wrong with that. Oh yeah, dinner come early, baby. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Beautiful. Snapper, baby. Mangrove snapper. Targeting snapper here on this reef. You never know what you can get out here though. Um, definitely can get a number of species i catch kobe out here kingfish oh there goes another snapper feels like doesn't feel that big but another snapper see that barracuda he wants it barracuda barracuda guys oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh he almost came out of the water for it Watch this, watch him take, take off after it. Always oh, gonna come back for it, guys. Oh, he ate it. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a giant. Oh, he spit it. Oh yeah, another nice mang. Another beautiful mangrove snapper, guys. Ooh, can't be mad at that. Oh. Another mang. The main. As you just saw in the episode, guys, we just got into some nice fish, and now I'm gonna clean these fish. Most of you guys know how to flay snapper, so I'll spare you, but I'll at least flay one on here just to show you how I do it. Some people do it differently. I like to stop right at that tail, flip it over, and what that allows me to do is it actually allows me to what I do here is I'm just cutting out the rib cage. There's like a little rib cage and there's not much meat behind it. So that's why I do that. And then I just take that while it's attached to the body of the fish, I like to go ahead and just ease that knife on down the skin. And what does that, that, that just, what that does is just de-skin it. And now you have a beautiful, nice filet of meat. And that's, that's what we're looking for guys. Beautiful, nice little slab of meat. And uh, yeah. Just gonna flay up all these fish and we'll get on over to the fryer, show you what I'm doing there. And this is my absolute favorite for uh, frying fish. Everglades uh, seasoning, all purpose spreader. This is like the bomb, bomb, bomb for frying fish. So that's what I like to use. It's local, made here in Florida. What we're gonna do here, guys, we are going to basically just throw that in there like that. These fillets. I'm going to make them whole. These are like beautiful fillet sizes. So perfect for meals, sandwiches, whatever you want to use them for. Batter them up just like that. 
that little rack that I'm gonna be holding the fish on. I actually made that out of an old crab trap. And uh, we're gonna see in this episode if it's gonna work, because I've never tried it. But I just cut these little sections out. So now I could use these little sections here right inside the fryer, just like this. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. All right guys, now we have them all on the trays. Time to bring this outside. We are using the air fryer. This is a this is actually made for turkeys. It's made by Charbroil. It's called the Big Easy, and it's specifically for frying turkeys. But I thought I'd just give this a whirl with fish. I don't see why it wouldn't cook fish the same. I mean, meat's meat. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go by the recommended suggestion of minutes per pound, which is they say 10 minutes per pound. So we have a, looks like we have we might have a couple pounds of fish here of fillets. So we might go you know, 15, 20 minutes on it just to get that crispy outside. First things first, guys, we gotta hook up the propane to the Big Easy. Just like that, it is literally a super simple process to use this thing. Make sure that's on nice and tight. Open the valve. You gotta turn this on right here so you got, actually can hear it starting up and then you hit the spark. Ooh, and just like that, it's already started and I can actually already feel heat right here. So I'm gonna take this lid off right here. So as you can see, I've already tested this bad boy out with a uh, turkey, but I've never tested it out with a fish. So I'm actually so excited to be doing this right now. So literally guys, it's just this easy. And guys, this can really, you know, the, the most, I, I'm most excited about this because this could really solve a problem. And the problem is, is every time you fry fish in a house, it always stinks up the place. And you guys know, you guys already know the ladies don't like the stink of the fried fish in the house. So this might solve that problem too. So I'm going to just drop this bad boy in here like this. Oh, I'm so excited. Nice and slow. Put it just like that and put this lid on. And we're going to set the timer right now. All right guys, it's been about 15 minutes. So it's time to give it a check and actually give it a taste test and see see how we did here. Oh my gosh, it's looking good. I'm hearing it sizzle. The edges look brown. It's looking crispy guys, it's looking crispy. Little hook handle right here. Wow, look at that guys. Make sure we turn it off here. Bring it inside for the taste test. Woo! Back inside. Woo! I bet you this thing is burning hot right now. So I'm gonna be super careful. Off like that. Oh yeah. Oh, it looks like the bottom stuck to the pan, which means for next time I need to, I need to make sure that that doesn't happen. Maybe I can spray a little olive oil cooking spray on there or something, but this should do for the taste test right here. Gosh, that looks amazing. What we're gonna do here. Try something new with it. This is something I just saw at Publix. I just wanted to grab it just to see if it tastes good. I mean, anything with Louisiana and fried fish, I mean, can't be bad, right? Oh, maybe I should shake that first. Ooh, yeah. Mm. 
All right, here we go, guys. Really quick, this is called the moment of truth, guys. We're gonna see how how it cooked. It looks pretty crispy. It feels pretty crispy. Just gonna see how this goes. Mmm. Wow. I mean, it's cooked to perfection. I mean, I mean, cooking it throughout. It cooked all the way through. It's beautiful. Mmm, that is good and tasty. That, that is good. Doesn't taste oily at all, obviously, because I didn't use oil. Mmm. Has a good crunch to it. I think it's a win, guys. This is awesome. This is a new way to cook. I don't have to fry it inside. I mean, I don't have to fry it inside, stink up the house anymore. Mmm. That is good. Wow, that is good. Hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and I'll see you guys here in just a few days.